Stress Can Kill You from the Institute of Nutritional Science, 619-507-2113. This is part four. I already did part one, two, three, four. This is part five. Relaxation exercises. Let's get right into it. The following exercises are example of techniques that we have used here at the Institute in order to help people learn to relax and communicate with their bodies. We suggest you try them for yourself as they can be very enlightening. Uh, this is page the end of page 19. If you're following along still, you can uh, pick up right there at the very bottom of page 19. Relaxation exercise number one. This is designed to help you focus your attention away from things that bother or stress you out, as well as energize the body. It will also show how little control you may have over your own thoughts and processes. This should not be a source of frustration, but rather a goal setting exercise. No matter if you complete the exercise or not, you will still be obtaining the benefit from the exercise. Sit with your eyes open or closed and begin with taking five, six deep, slow breaths, inhaling through your nose and exhaling slowly and very completely through your mouth. Feel the life giving air in, feel the life-giving air enter your body and exit your body. Realize your connection with the breath of, breath of life as it comes and goes. Try to see that this is the life force and it's, and it's not a series of separate breaths, but a continuous, unbroken energy that we are drawing into our bodies through the action of the lungs. The goal of this relaxation exercise is to focus on the mind on one, focus the mind on one subject, in this case, the breath, without tension or resistance. Begin by inhaling and exhaling slowly. Every time you exhale, count backwards from one to 10. The first breath, then you would count 10. The second breath would be nine and so forth. Keep counting and breathing until you've reached number one. Now there's just one rule. Every time your mind wanders to any other subject than your breath going in and out of your body, you have to start over at number 10. So it's probably not very easy. We have students that have never reached number one, and it doesn't matter. However, since the benefit comes from the practice, you should have fun with this one. Relaxation exercise number two. Unlike the first relaxation exercise, this is often called a guided exercise and will help you to focus on a voice rather than a breath. You can record the text given. You can record the text given in your own voice or have someone else record it for you. You can record it over background music if you choose or if you need to play tape during each exercise. So it's more of like a guided one. Begin by sitting or lying down quietly. Play the tape while you focus and follow along with suggestion and instructions. My body is going to take time out to relax. I am willing to give my body the time it needs to relax and balance itself. I can feel my breath flow through my body. It fuels my being with life and energy. Take five slow breaths, exhaling slowly. My feet are beginning to relax. I can feel the tension release and leave my feet. There are the foundation. They are the foundation that supports my body. And I appreciate the service that they are, that they provide. It's really good. Now I'm giving my feet that much needed rest and tension is now leaving them. They're going limp with complete relaxation. My legs are beginning to relax now. The tension is draining from them, dissipating into the vastness of the space around me. My legs are strong and filled with energy to carry me through life. I can feel the blood through my legs, carried by the breath of my lungs. My legs are warm and strong. The tension is now rapidly leaving my legs and are grateful for the rest they deserved. My hip a center of tension, are now going to begin to relax. I am positioning my body so that my hips and lower back are fully supported. 
Now the tension can begin to flow out of this very important center for my health and energy levels. This is the seat of my sexual being. It provides my body with the energy hormones that help me fulfill my life. I am giving my hips and lower back the chance to fully relax and revitalize through the breath of life, flowing to every extreme of my body. This area of my body is now relaxed with my legs and feelings relaxed without tension, which I realize that I can both create and release whenever I want to. Now I am choosing to release these tensions into space around me so that my body may recharge itself fully. My rib cage is now beginning to relax more and more through the breath of life that fills my lungs. My rib cage is revitalized with the life that it contains. My heartbeat is strong and steady. My heart rests between beats and deserves that rest. It carries life-giving nutrients to every cell of my body. I respect my heart and give thanks to it for every beat it provides for me. My digestive system is relaxing with every breath as well. My tension in my abdominal area, which affects my ability to digest and absorb life-giving nutrients, is flowing out of my body into the vastness of space around me. Every time I exhale, my stress and tension is carried out with that breath. New life and new energy flows in to replace that tension every time I inhale. My arms and hands are now fully relaxed. The tension of the day, building up in my shoulders and arms, is flowing towards my fingertips and leaving my body. Each joint and tendon is relaxing and the muscles are at peace with no tension whatsoever. My hands are beautiful instruments of expression. I am thankful for them. They enable me to touch all the beautiful things in my life. They work hard for me every day and now I'm giving them a chance to relax. This is really good work. This is really good work. If you have this book and you're following along, you can see where this is going. My neck, the great corridor that connects my body with the master computer, the brain, is letting go of all of its tension. It provides the opening between the knowledge of my mind and the action of my body. I wish to keep this passage open and fully relaxed. The energy must flow freely through my neck, contributing to the vital exchange of energy between body and mind. I know that my neck frequently is the source of much tension and discomfort at times due to friction. My desire is to release this tension willfully and give my neck muscles the chance to fully relax. My thoughts are now flowing freely and without tension from my brain to, rela to my relaxed body. Together they will produce a place of peace where my body can fully relax and accept the vital nutrients that I have chosen to provide for its well-being and maintenance. Through this relaxed space that I have provided for my body, it will, it, will better, it will better be able to digest the food that I have selected for it. My body is working better and better every day. Now that you, my body, are fully relaxed, I promise to give you this time on a regular basis where you can recharge yourself and make yourself healthy. I love you and appreciate all the wonders that make you what you are. It is a privilege to have you to have you so that I may show you all my warmth, wonderful feelings that I have had for life to others. My life is made richer because of you, my body, which provides me the way to show my love for life around me. I am now breathing slow and steady. I am fully relaxed and feel the warmth that comes from the promise that I will provide whatever my body needs. In turn, you, my body, will continue to serve me as you have so wonderfully done before. You will gain strength and wholesomeness from the peace I promise to provide you. I feel relaxed 
and I feel at peace. My mind and my body are together in purpose to live my life surrounded by the life I have chosen to create. I am releasing emotions that take me away from, I am releasing emotions that take me away from love. I have no use for feelings that take me away for love of life. Now that I am fully relaxed, I will begin to animate my body. I will remain relaxed throughout my body as I bring it into motion again. I will begin to count backwards from 10, focusing on my breath. Each time I can count down a number, my body will become more and more alert and aware of which surrounds me. As I approach number five, I will be aware of the room and the furnishings around me. And as I reach number two, I will be totally aware of everything, yet completely relaxed and free from all tension and stress. As I reach number one, I will be fully aware in motion, stretching, reaching, feeling the sensation of motion throughout my body that fully relaxed energy produces. I am full, relaxed, and at peace with myself. For those who are interested, there are many excellent books on relaxation techniques, or you may want to design your own to go along with. So that's it. So you either record it or, you know, memorize it or whatever, but that's the whole thing of it. And it's, that's pretty good. Uh, I think if you're following along with the book, you'll be probably making a, a highlighting that part. Stress is a fact of life. It is an important part of life. Unmanaged stress is deadly. It is important to understand and recognize the difference. Stress is most dangerous within a person who does not acknowledge it and does not learn to manage it properly. In this case, denial is deadly. Stress has been linked to virtually every chronic problem within the body and disorder as we know it. Through, this neg through its negative impact on the immune system, and it's also the in uh, an integral part of infectious you know, things that happen in the body that are that are bad. It's it's it stress is really the, the cardinal cause of it. And our, uh, it is my hope that the information contained within this booklet will help you in your life. Use it whenever you feel that stress of life is gaining control over you instead of the other way around. Virtually every health building program you will undertake will improve and accelerate through proper management of stress in your life. And that's it. Then it just has all the references in the book. And I guess this is it because if we're on the references, it must be the end of the book. And uh, yeah, as the part for the notes, you probably want to take notes about the last part we just read. And that is the full book. All, um, I think that was part five. And then um, a little write up on the back. So 619-507-2113, if you want to call the Institute and get one of these books, it has all the nutrient list of stuff where you can go and uh, figure all that out. Plus it has that whole stress thing that I just talked about. So thanks for watching. And if you got any questions, keep in mind healthyinformation.com or 619-507-2113.